family reunion, Frederick Basil. Basil was close friend with Renoir and Monet, sharing studio with both. He especially admired their open hair paintings. During the summer of 1867, in the family home at Merrick near Montpellier, he set up his easel beneath the big chestnut tree on the terrace. From there he overlooked the picturesque village of Castelnau, separated from Merrick by a ravine in which flowed the river Les. Family reunion, also called a family portrait, featured all the members of his family. In the foreground, sitting on a bench, are his father and mother, at the back the eldest of his cousin and her husband, Monsieur Tellon. At the round table, Madame de Our, Basil's maternal aunt, with a dogger terrace sitting on the parapet, Camille Desor, his youngest cousin, beside the young Marc Basil, on the extreme left standing his uncle de Or, behind whom can be seen half hidden the tall silhouette of the artist which he himself headed. Motionless and gazing directly at the artist, these people give the impression of posing for a photographer. They are out of door, but it is has not prevented them from keeping to a rather stiff pose, of the kind often taken by a model in an art school. The likenesses which one feels are very good increase this impression. Of the variants, they are from Monet's woman in the garden, who are silhouettes in the natural setting rather than portraits. Perhaps. The Protestant's origin of the Basil family partly accounted for this dignity, austerity and self-sufficiency. Basil did, however, research this big picture in a few places for the following winter he walked from Paris to his parents. I shall send the Merrick picture to the exhibition. I have retouched it. I have put in some little dogs and read on the head of Pauline and Kami, which I didn't like. I have begun this and shall finish in a month's time. He changed it some more, in fact, replacing the little dogs by a still life in the foreground, flower, a hat and an umbrella beside luminous patches of sunshine on the ground. These compromises may explain why his work was accepted by the Paris Salon in 1868, while Monet's more daring paintings were rejected. The strong contrast demonstrates the artist's liking for the light of the sound of friends, the group is gathering in the shade which entrains the vivid color of the landscape and the sky. The light filtrated by the overhanging foliage accentuates the pale clothes of the group. 